Hey guys, in this short video, I wanna give you two very simple yet profoundly powerful tips for getting healthier and younger skin. So I probably don't have to convince anybody here that having healthier, more youthful skin is something desirable. So instead of trying to convince you, I'll just dive right into these tips and give you a really great place to start, something that's so easy to do, potentially two things that you're not doing, two possible mistakes that you're making that could have a drastic positive or negative effect on the health and appearance of your skin. So my first tip is going to be take a very close look at the sorts of fats that you're eating. This is important because the skin is made up of both fat and protein. However, it's made up of a specific type of fat. And if you're getting the wrong type of fat, you could not only be starving your skin of the basic building block that it needs, but you could be accelerating skin aging or the aging process of the skin, causing things like hyperpigmentation, pigmentation issues, skin spots or the brown spots or liver spots, general saggy skin and more aged skin. So what sort of fat is the skin made up of? Saturated fat. That's right, the sort of fat that we've all been told to not eat. The fat that comes from primarily animal products like butter, dairy, cheese, yogurt, meat, organ meats, egg yolks, etc. is actually the most protective fat that you could consume. Not only does it make up a great majority of the skin tissue and the skin cell membrane, but it has many protective effects. It stops a lot of the stress reactions in the body. It provides fuel for the thyroid to produce cellular energy. It also has many anti-inflammatory mechanisms. And through its anti-inflammatory effects, it can actually not only protect against scarring or fibrosis, but in the right amount, the saturated fatty acids might even reverse skin scarring and fibrosis. And the basic way to look at or to understand the anti-stress and protective effects of saturated fat is to just take a quick look at its chemical structure. You see, saturated fat has a very sound, stable chemical structure. Unlike unsaturated fats, which are incredibly unstable, they have many double carbon bonds, which make them volatile and susceptible to reacting with free radicals or reactive oxygen species that causes cellular damage. So in other words, saturated fats have a very strong chemical integrity. You can take a stick of butter and set it on the counter and it will last a very long time before going bad, before going rancid. However, unsaturated fats, think of something like fish oil. If you were to leave a fish on the counter, it would go rancid very quickly. And again, this has everything to do with the chemical structure of these fats and how they react with things like oxygen, light, heat, and other sort of volatile reactive species. So in other words, saturated fats are highly antioxidative, and in this way, they're anti-inflammatory and very protective to the skin. Not to mention, they make up the basic building blocker, the basic raw material that is your skin. So tip number one, make sure you're consuming saturated fats. Again, the animal products, coconut oil, ghee, butter, all sorts of different animal tissues and organs, egg yolks, dairy, etc. They're all incredibly protective and nourishing to the skin. In fact, as your body ages, as your skin ages, the basic underlying chemical reaction that's occurring is that your skin tissue and the fat tissue in the body is becoming more and more unsaturated. So in addition to consuming saturated fats, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're as deficient in the unsaturated fats as possible. Again, they're very volatile, they're very reactive. So consuming unsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, which are primarily your vegetable oils and your fish oils, those will all increase the risk of something called lipid peroxidation, which is a fancy term for damage done to the fat tissue in your body. And remember, your skin's mostly fat. So if you're exposing your body to these volatile oils, you're increasing the risk of skin damage or accelerated skin aging. In fact, the consumption of polyunsaturated fats are linked to everything from skin cancer to skin aging and skin spots and those liver spots are particularly associated with the consumption of polyunsaturated fats. So this is sort of a dual-sided tip here. 
It's to ensure you're consuming saturated fats, but also making sure that you're avoiding the unsaturated as much as possible. Tip number two is to make sure you're getting in enough dietary cholesterol. Another dietary controversy that has been completely wrong in the opposite direction. So cholesterol is essential for the body. Basically, high cholesterol levels has nothing to do with consuming cholesterol. It's more likely associated with a deficiency of dietary cholesterol and hypothyroidism. You see, your thyroid hormone is what's responsible for converting cholesterol into the mother hormone, pregnenolone, and then progesterone. So when you have hypothyroidism, cholesterol isn't properly converted into the hormones, and this can cause high cholesterol. It can also be associated with a liver issue where the liver is not properly metabolizing cholesterol that is unused. So nevertheless, consuming cholesterol is not bad for you. It's not going to cause high cholesterol. It's actually essential for so many things in your body particularly for skin health and for the production of hormones, which are very interrelated. You see, cholesterol makes up 55% of your skin cell membrane. So without enough cholesterol, you're also starving the skin of a basic building block. But cholesterol, as I mentioned, is also responsible for the production of various hormones. So hormones like pregnenolone and progesterone, which are actually anti-stress hormones that help your body become more resilient to stress. So one way that cholesterol, and particularly the production of progesterone, is beneficial to the skin is because progesterone decreases your reliance on cortisol. And cortisol is the classic stress hormone that ages the skin. It literally breaks down skin tissue, wastes it, and causes wrinkles and skin damage. So consuming enough cholesterol is a good way to ensure good progesterone levels and therefore a decreased production of the skin aging cortisol. However, cholesterol is also responsible for the production of bile, which is a digestive fluid secreted from the gallbladder that is responsible for the breaking down, the digestion, of your fats. And remember, the skin is made up of both protein and fat. So without enough bile, your body's not gonna break down that fat and be able to consume it for the many functions that it has, one being for the development of healthy skin. So a lot of the times, the skin becomes dry and age because of a bile deficiency, but that bile deficiency might be due to a lack of dietary cholesterol. So there you have it. Two very simple yet incredibly profound things you can do to start improving the health of your skin and making it appear much more youthful and vibrant. However, that does bring this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. And if you're interested in learning more, we have tons of additional information and resources all throughout our YouTube channel in relation to good skin health, good overall health, and we also have hundreds of blog posts on our website, so be sure to check out our blog and our tonic herb shop in the description box below.